What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Stardust here, welcome back to another video here on the YouTube channel. And today we are discussing a Marvel Spider-Man 2 leak. Now, before we get into this, I want you guys to know that when I do cover leaks and rumours on this YouTube channel, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm saying they are confirmed, it doesn't mean I've heard something that will give it that 100% guarantee, it's just important for me to give out of these leaks and rumours, because if they, you know, turn out to be true, then everyone is aware of them, everyone could be excited, if they it turn out to be false then it does allow a conversation in the comments down below if this is something that you would like to see uh you know or you know maybe variations of what i have said in this video so let's get into this because this is a really interesting one so Thread basically says, according to a leaked email, you'll switch between Peter and Miles akin to Fire Emblem, Radiant Dawn, or Dragon Ball Z Kakarot with emphasis on Peter and be able to free roam as one of them between missions for side content. Basically, in their words, a section in the game goes like Peter mission, Miles free roam, Miles mission, Miles free roam, Miles mission, Peter free roam. It also says there's a third character that kills people with projectiles, some tentacle weapon and smoke, can't free roam, and might be Yuri... Uh, Watanabe or Symbiote Peter, the poster extra po extra uh, extra pollated part of this uh, claim based off instructions some devs received for animating hit react stuff, pasting full text. Now I will read this off and then I'll give my thoughts straight afterwards. Hello, I saw an email a few weeks ago to do with Spider-Man 2 on the dark web. Do you see why this might be a bit off but it could still be true stuff does come from there that is you know not meant to be out there in the public i won't show it my myself out of respect because it contains the names and personal information of some insomniac employees and my device's black bar is made out a certain way so we can still see censored text if you know how but it contains some details about the gameplay loop I think a few months ago, someone came here saying that you will be able to place every mission as either Peter or Miles. This isn't true. You'll only be able to play all side missions as either, but you do switch between them often. Best way I can describe it is like Radiant Dawn or Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. In the latter's case, every mission you play is done by a predetermined character. Gohan, Vegeta, Goku, Piccolo, etc. And in between missions, you can free roam and do side quests specific to that character. In SM2 main story missions, done by a predetermined character but in between you can free roam the whole map and do side quests for example peter does a certain main mission and is not the f out so the next mission is miles checking on peter and then doing something for him in between peter's missions miles is first and miles is second mission miles can free roam and do side quests or crimes but after the second mission you resume control of peter also remember those moments where the game encouraged you to do side quests while waiting for something to happen for the main quest this game has more of that to encourage roam as both characters. Peter mission, Miles free roam, Miles mission, Miles free roam, Miles mission, Peter free roam. Side quests will also have different dialogue and stuff depending on who you do it as, or what order you do it as. No elaboration on that. There is a third character who mixes into all of this but cannot free roam, with a different playstyle that straight up kills people and uses smoke, projectiles, and a type of organic or artificial tentacles, based on some instructions animators received for hit react animations. Another earlier leak claimed that this is Wraith, Yuri Watanabe, and while I believe that, it's much more reasonable to assume this is Black Suit Peter. I absolutely disagree with that assumption by the way that is 100 percent wraith uh potentially using mysterio tech for the smoke projectiles i mean that could just come from a gun if we're, if we're being completely honest and tentacles could totally have something to do with uh doc ox tentacles could just be using them for something else entirely because that's what wraith did in the comics right she collected a bunch of stuff from evidence lockers from the police uh you know station and basically put that on a person and there you go that's where the abilities came from now i can see this being real now i don't believe that uh this you know this gentleman or lady or whatever got this directly from insomniac or the dark web or anything like that but i can absolutely see this being the case now this is why i wanted to give this out right because it sounds genuinely interesting and it sounds like something that they would do I'm a bit surprised by this because I thought if they're going to add a third character to the mix you can't free roam but you can play as, I always imagined it would be Venom. 
But if we can't play as Venom and potentially they're saving that for a future game down the road, like Marvel's Venom or something, then, you know, Yuri being playable, that does make a lot of sense. And that does tie into a lot of, obviously, the DLC that we had for Marvel Spider-Man. And it makes sense to sort of continue that story and be quite heavy for Peter, given how close him and Yuri were in the first game. But let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if this is something that you can see happening in the future. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment for all your Marvel Spider-Man 2 leaks, rumors, and news. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace.